I'm going to take the stage a little bit. Drew has not seen this yet. It's on Stars, and the reason I'm talking about it is my friend Mike O'Malley is the showrunner. It's called Heels. So let me set the stage. You're in rural Georgia. It's a small wrestling family business. It was started by the father, who has since passed. The two brothers have now taken over the business. Uh, Ace Spade, who's the good-looking Hulk Hogan type, played by Alexander Ludwig. And Jack Spade, who's the older brooding brother who runs the show, is played by Stephen Arnell. Now, these guys, they have regular jobs during the day. Like, you know, Jack Spade, like he sells lawnmowers, right? And the brother, I don't know what the brother is working. And then all of the wrestlers will just come in at night and they got all like, like James Harrison from the Steelers is in it. Alex Maldonado, who's an up and coming actor, he's in it. And they all put on for like 500 people in this little dumpy arena called the DWL. They all put on a wrestling show, right? And the hope is to get called up to the big time. So... Uh, two guys, Michael Malley, my buddy, who is the showrunner, he comes in as Charlie Gully, who basically is like, if you remember, remember the uh, the wizard from uh, wrestling the uh, back in the day with Vince McMahon? Um, was it the Grand Wizard? He, my, my wrestling viewing it, goes it, way back, way too far to right, like yeah, yeah, Billy yeah, Red yeah, Lion yeah. and guys like that. But I no. think it was the Grand Wizard who, who came out with like a turban on and sunglasses. But he's that kind of guy. I mean, he's He's an over the top and he has started a rival league and he tries to come in and raid this league. Hmm. So just like the Godfather at the end of the day, this is about family. I mean, it's about, it's, it, you know, it's really not about wrestling. It's, it's not, it's about family. And it's hmm. about how the older brother doesn't want ace, the younger brother to leave. And O'Malley who has really stretched his wings as an actor by doing some really good things after yes, dear, which, you know, that's really what he's noted for a long time ago on CBS and put him on the map that and playing the Rick, you know, plays this evil wrestling guy. He's lost a lot of weight. He's getting shaved his head. He's got this white beard. He wears crazy shaved clothes. His head? Shaved his head. Yeah. I mean, he was, you know, he was thinning anyways, but, and he's got these crazy sunglasses on. He's great. Charlie Gully. And he's there and he's going to rule the wrestling world. And he is going to break um, Jack Spade in the DWL. Uh, so check it out. The other guy I want to mention is a guy by the name of Chris Bauer. Who is, who is an underrated actor who is, his IMDb page is a mile long. He's been in everything. But he plays Wild Bill Hickok, who's a wrestler who had been in the big time, like at the WWE, but has fallen on hard times and comes back to his roots at the DWL. And he is crazy. I mean, he is just, he is fantastic. Wild Bill Hickok, just think about it. Uh, Hancock, Wild Bill Hancock. And if you're looking for something different on stars, check out heels. The reason it's called heels is because they say when you turn heel, that's when you turn to be a bad guy. Ah. You know, so they go through, you know, all that stuff. So check that out. That is, uh, it's well worth your watch. Well, okay, what was the movie you? out recently that was that had wrestling in it? Peanut butter. Uh, oh yeah, peanut butter, peanut butter Falcon? Fal Falcon. Yeah, yeah, with um, uh, uh, Yep, yeah. great yeah. movie underrated drew very good very good movie that kid did a great job too um i like that a lot this is a really good novel called champion of the world about wrestling in the early 1900s when wrestling was like you know boxing was in the 40s 50s and 60s um before it turned fake and it's right. it, in the end it kind of you kind of see it going toward hey let's get into entertainment more than actual right um, you know athletic competition it's a really good book. It's called Champion of the World. I have to check that out. But do, who's your favorite wrestler? Can, you're going to date yourself. Is it Bruno San Martino? Uh, I like Bruno. Yeah. But Billy Red, Billy Red Lion. I liked him a lot. Yeah. Mine was I, my brother and I would watch this and, and, you know, throw pillows and, you know, pretend to be wrestlers until my mother came in and said, get the hell out of here. No kidding. The, the biggest thing, boy, when they became WWE and said, yeah, of course it's fake. It kept bigger than ever. Everybody goes, yeah, yeah we don't care. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's amazing. Dean Ho, Tony Guerrier, uh, Chief J. Strongbow, um, the Valiant Brothers. Oh, true showman. So I picked you um, up in Maine on a, like a Friday night. You know, it's snowing like hell out and you're watching. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, ours, they always said it was Saturday morning at 10. Oh, and right. it was Vince McMahon in a yellow jacket interviewing... I don't know, uh, one of the Valiant brothers or something like that. And then the Grand Wizard comes out and they have this big fake fight. And 
I mean, it was all, and it was one camera. It was all such small time. I mean, to watch it now, I mean, it's a multi-camera production. Oh, yeah. Fireworks. And like They make a huge. fortune. So they produce it because they make a fortune. Well, they just said uh, McMahon's about to retire, so it could be on the block. Mm. I bet you one of the agencies buys it. That'd be interesting. CAA, William Morris, something like that, mm. or I, or maybe Jerry Jones, you know, like an owner. Who knows? Anyways, Drew, uh, on the Western theme, we're going to go out with one of the greatest movies.